Welcome to the Knowledge and Data course. Welcome to this uh, little introductory video. I'm uh, Stefan Schlobach, together with uh, class Andries de Haaf. I will teach this course, coordinate things. And um, this video is meant to give you a little insight into the how and why of the course, an introduction to the content a little bit, but mostly about how it is organized. It might be that you are a bit confused and maybe panicky that there is so many contact hours don't panic. I will explain now why this is the case and um, that the situation is far better than you expect, I hope. The learning objectives are separated in knowledge and insights and skills. So what you have to learn in this course is how to deal with data, what data is, what knowledge is, and how to turn data to information, particularly in the context of the web. So in the first, first module, we talk about data and uh, how you use knowledge to turn data into information, something useful, something you can do something with. Our means here, our, our tool that we use is uh, a formal system. So an example you've seen is proposition and logic. So we'll explain a little bit, uh, um, remind you of how, how this worked. Um, and then we explain that knowledge graphs are a very suitable means to representing data for the web and for re reuse in general. Um, for this, you need some description of the data model, and we introduce schema languages in the third module, and ontology languages to describe more knowledge about the, 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 the domain so that you can enrich the data with extra information and knowledge. This will be uh, module four. No, module five is then how to combine links data with knowledge and with other data sources that you can find possibly on the web but not necessarily so. You will also learn skills as I said and these are skills to manipulate data and knowledge in a pro programmatic way which means that you can write programs uh, Python programs to manipulate the data but in a second step you will also learn state-of-the-art technology such as graph databases and or triple stores uh, to store and access the data and therefore make it useful for yourself. Uh, in the next step, you will build an ontology. You'll learn how to do this with uh, an ontology modeling tool like um, uh, Protégé. You will learn how to link data sources and knowledge sources and publish the data and this knowledge in the end on the web so that you and other people can use it. And to show that this is uh, what, is, what is, work, is all working, you will build in groups of three at the end in a project, uh, a web application where you use integrated data and knowledge sources. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. The question is, of course, at the moment, how we're going to do it and uh, why on earth you have a schedule that is, uh, has about 20 different sessions. This is not the case. We only have very, very limited contact hours in principle for everybody. Uh, and that is because the main tool for teaching in this course is going to be video lectures. Uh, why video lectures? The, the first thing is that it is, I think, uh, a very, very good tools if you have an environment as we have with many, many different, different groups. So we have uh, uh, FU students, we have UFA students, we have pre-master students, we have international students and so forth. Uh, minor students, welcome to all of you, but uh, it makes it rather complicated to plan a course. So our intuition was that it makes it easier for all of you or for many of you to learn when it suits you. So when you can look at the material, you can re-look at the material, you can study it again, you can look at it together with friends or not, if whatever you prefer, but you can do it at your own time. The second thing is that I think video lectures are really cool and scalable, reusable and so forth, because I always had the experience that the normal lectures, I was sitting in a big room and I didn't un did understand everything, but it was boring because I had already understood everything. And after a while, there came a moment where I didn't understand anything anymore. So in the video lectures, I hope that you can sort of forward wind when you think, oh yeah, I know this stuff, I understand it. And you can re-listen to the slides and the material and the explanations again and again and again, if you need it. So. In the end, we will only have four real lectures where one of us, class or I, stand classically in front of you and explain things. And this will be mostly things that we explain about the course, how to organize things, when to deliver, how to deliver practical things. 
we will probably get some invited speakers in. And in the 4th of the lectures on 10th of October, we will um, explain about the final project and what to do and how to do it. Still, it's a, of course important not only to talk to a video, but you also maybe want to have questions or discuss individual problems. And that's why we have interactive sessions that are labeled lectures in the schedule on a Thursday and the Friday. You only have to come to one of them because they are basically twice the same setup. I know that some of you have a commitment on, fri on Friday, some of you have commitment on Thursday, so pick the one that suits you. And in these sec sessions, we will uh, ask uh, questions, we will answer questions, we will give feedback on the assignments, and we'll see whether there is general uh, progress in your work. You can book slots in uh, labs to get uh, individual technical support. So we have people sit in a lab, which, you, which will also give you space to sit in and to work in these particular times because they're re reserved for us, where you can talk to, your, to, to some experts who can help you with uh, technical problems and bugs that you find and so forth and conceptual problems you have. We'll also make use of uh, online discussions and boards uh, of the teaching material using a platform of SlideWiki that we're going to talk about in, uh, on Tuesday. And um, this is very nice because you can uh, comment on slides and question, ask questions on slides directly and we'll be able to answer immediately uh, to those questions and other people can benefit from this discussion as well. And the same we are going to do for the technical problems. We are using uh, an, 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 uh, Piazza I, and uh, we hope that in this way we can uh, give you sufficiently many options to get in contact with us and get help while the real content is presented via videos. So slightly more practical, I guess you want to know more how this course is going to develop. Uh, the course is organized in five modules and the first module is about um, uh, formal systems for representing knowledge graphs. The second one is about um, doing the same for, for, for the web. Uh, the third one is about uh, schema languages. The fourth one is about ontology languages, ontologies, so how to represent knowledge. And the fifth one is about uh, data integration on the web, but also outside the web. So these are the five modules. Each of them takes a week. And um, after these five weeks of modules, you will have um, uh, three weeks of a practical final assignment that you do in groups of three. So the modules are individual. The modules themselves, they are again split into learning activities. Sometimes, not always, but most of the time. So first you learn something about propositional logic and then you learn something about the knowledge graph logic and uh, in the second module, you might learn something on RDF, and then the second learning activity will be on Sparkle, which is the query language that you apply to, uh, to RDF data. Each week, with every module, there comes an assessment. So you have an, an, an assignment where you, uh, multiple choice, uh, you get multiple choice questions that you have to answer sometimes with, develop, with writing that, that we will assess with uh, some of us weekly and give feedback in the, the interactive sessions. And you will have to do some programming work. So in the first weeks, that will be probably mostly uh, Python programming. And later, this will also be using state-of-the-art technology um, with uh, um, uh, um, RDF data bases and so forth. And the final project, everything should come together in groups of three. So what's that? next? Please come on Tuesday to the lecture because this is where we really try to explain everything in detail so that uh, you all get started and that uh, there are no misunderstandings and so forth. And hopefully we can also enthuse you about the content of the course so that you really start um, uh, with energy and really like uh, go, uh, get going nicely. If you want to prepare already now, there is a link to software that you can already install and some reading that you can do in the papers and the book. And if you have other questions, just get in contact with us. The mailing addresses, the emails are on the website. So for the rest, this is it for today. Uh, and I hope that you are going to enjoy the course and we see each other on Tuesday. Mm -hmm.